Ariana is back. Yes, and album seven on the way. Pretty cool stuff. Definitely interested to see where she takes it. I'm surprisingly looking forward to it as well. Not to hate on her, but I've never been the biggest fan of her albums. I like a lot of her singles for sure. But in terms of albums, I do think people have overplayed how good those albums are. I've never really found any of them to be that strong, even though they tend to make year-end lists and things. Sweetener, Thank You Next being the two obvious ones that seem to get a lot of buzz. I personally didn't get the hype for those at all, really. Uh, but the singles from them and tr individual tracks from those albums were very, very good. And uh, yeah, I do rate her as an artist overall. I do think there's something there. I do think she could drop something really good. And I'm interested to see where she takes this era for sure. There has been some drama with her where she kind of like broke up a marriage or something, which wait, really came and went in the news. She's one of those artists that's just like so easy to just forget that she might do something wrong like i just feel like she's one of those can't do no wrong people where it's like oh it's only ariana let her, let her. she's all right but no that, that that was a kind of crazy story that just seemed to get swept under the rug real quick <laughs> and uh, we did get that break up with your girlfriend because i'm bored song so it's like you know the signs were always there but let's hope there's no tackiness with this new era and this new song doesn't have any of that crap because that song was poop so interested to see where she takes this hopefully no marriages are broken in the process too let's get straight into it then Expecting this. to have a feeling about this track and i'm not sure why but yeah it's delivered in a way that i really wasn't expecting i actually thought she was going to take it back to more of like a an early 2000s r&b vibe with ba based on what people were kind of rumored to be saying the album was going to be like maybe the rumors were not to be believed on this occasion but yeah i like that a lot i mean jesus christ didn't quite expect it to have such a specific house influence that I, really took the track in a direction i just wasn't expecting to hear i do wonder if the latest beyonce album has just kind of ended up reigniting this sound a little bit more in an artist like ariana where she kind of just has felt so energized by that album that she wanted to do a similar thing i wouldn't say it's exactly the same i'm not saying it's a total you know copy and paste of that album that's not what i'm saying at all but just the fact that the track has just way more of a pulse way more of an energy that we haven't really heard ariana like ever do unless she's been on like a remix or a feature somewhere perhaps but what's really funny about this track is that like 10 years 11 years ago now actually frankie knuckles did one of the best boiler room sets ever like it is incredible if you've never heard that frankie knuckles boiler room go listen to it now do it right now i don't even care if you click off this video he does amazing remixes of some of the most vibrant and energetic house music you will ever hear and one of the tracks that he remixes on that live dj set is baby eye by ariana grande and listening to this actually kind of made me think back to that because I was so impressed of how good it sounded and how I just thought Ariana would really suit that kind of production. And yeah, of course, 11 years later, here we are. Ariana is on that kind of sound and it works. It's very summary. You can tell as well with some of the lyrics she was poking at maybe some critiques. I think even the music video, there was a bit of a snippet that came out of like the critics talking about Ariana and clearly she's kind of trying to address that a little bit. The critics being clearly like stands and haters, not actual critics because nobody talks about Ariana in that way if you are a music critic. If you watch the snippet, you'll know what I mean. Talking about her ponytail, talking about everything about who she is as a person rather than the music. It was clearly more of a poke to actual haters and people that 
go online and just spread hate just for this just for the sake of it and i feel like she's maybe addressing that a little bit in this track but even still i thought it was really good really cool to see her go for a totally different sound i liked it so let me know your thoughts in the comments was surprised by this pleasantly surprised uh do subscribe do have a good day and goodbye